Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is what I got for Christmas 2017. Um, I'm just going to say quickly, um, this is my third video of filming tonight. So if I'm in the same outfit, makeup and everything, you're right. It is the third video in this makeup and outfit. But you know, when you're just feeling it, you've got to keep going. So I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas this year. And I have to just put this disclaimer out there, which everyone does. But I was so lucky this Christmas, honestly so lucky and I just want to say like I'm in no means bragging. Again, I just love watching these videos and I really want to share with you what I got and hope that you'll love my version of this video. So yeah, in no means bragging, I know I'm honestly so lucky and if I could give all these things away to you guys, I would like gifts that mean a lot to me but at the same time family and company means a lot to me as well so yes just to get that out of the way with let's get straight into the video i'll show you what i got for christmas this year so for my mum and dad this year i was gonna get money but i actually found something else which was the same amount of money which i'll show you at the end but the first thing that they got me was just this pink coat now i chose this myself from miss pat it's just like an aviator jacket and then it has like fluff on the outside on the sleeves and it's like faux suede and I honestly thought this was so cute I have a grey and a black aviator jacket but now like we're adding the pink to the collection because you could never have enough coats and honestly I thought this was so cute so they got me that now my mum always gets me pyjamas for Christmas which I love because she finds like the best pyjamas out there I don't know how she does it but a couple of things that she got me like she got me quite a lot of pyjamas but one of the things she got me was this big hoodie now it's just like dressing gown fluffy teddy material but it's fluffy on the outside and fluffy on the inside and it's like a hoodie and I thought it would be perfect just to wear like around the house when I don't want to have my dressing gown on like 24 7 and also just like to go out when it's really cold and stuff it's just so cozy and soft so I am in love with this and then another set of pajamas she got me which are so cute this is just like fake tan pajamas so it's just like thin cotton bottoms and then the top which is like the really cute bit just has like sparkly writing on it and it says prosecco and pajamas which is me in a quote so I love those another thing my parents got me was the Valentino Donna perfume now I have seen this quite a lot recently in shops and stuff and every time I smell it I just fall in love with it again it's honestly such a nice smell and I'm like really fussy with perfume I don't know what it is like I only like a few perfumes probably like three and this one as soon as I saw it I was like that has to be mine because I love it and yeah it's quite a pricey perfume but I got the 100ml bottle so it should last me quite a long time. My mum and dad also got me the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Glow and Bronze set because I've had this before and I love it just because of like my pale skin days. It is just a perfect bronzer for me so they did get me a new one of those because these are quite pricey as well and I do kind of grudge spending that much at once on makeup but they luckily got me one of those in my stocking for Christmas. The last few things my mum and dad got me was just this dressing gown. Now this is just like quite a basic dressing gown. It's just like bright pink. But the thing that was so cute about this is that they've got our names printed on. So I've got one with my name on. My brother's got one with his name on. And my boyfriend's got one with his name on. So we all have like cute little dressing gowns with our names on. And I think my mum thought these were going to be like a lot better quality than they are. But they're just so cute. Like and the colour of it is like a nice hot pink though. I personally think it's such a good idea. Another thing my mum and dad got me was this ring from Pandora. It's just like a little teardrop ring and I thought it's just really cute with like little diamantes and stuff. So they got me that. Now the last thing that my mum and dad got me I'm extremely grateful for because they'd already bought me quite a lot already. I had asked for money for Christmas but then I found this and it was like the same kind of price range. So they got me something from Louis Vuitton. So they actually got me a well, it's, it's classed as a toiletry bag but I personally would use it as a clutch bag it's just like a small pouch with the monogram print and like I just think this is like the perfect size for a clutch bag like for a toiletry bag that is so expensive to put your makeup in it and it smash and get filthy so it's just like this cute little monogram pouch and then the inside is just like a nudie pinky kind of fleshy colour I think this is going to be like a perfect clutch so I'm so grateful I got that and Louis Vuitton is literally like my favourite thing ever so that's just another one to add to my collection a lot of my family don't really do presents like cousins and stuff we don't really tend to do presents we normally just tend to buy like vouchers or money and things like that so that was a lot of what I got for Christmas but my nan does buy me a few little presents she got me like just some shoe boxes that are just on top of my wardrobe right now they're just kind of like space 
shoe boxes which are very helpful to make space in my room and then she also just got me the moisturizer version of the valentino perfume because i know that if you use like the moisturizer and the perfume together it's supposed to last like twice as long so she got me the moisturizer version of that now the last lot of presents that i got were for my boyfriend and me and my boyfriend kind of go a little bit crazy at christmas this is our last year of christmas presents because after this we need to kind of prioritize our money on other things but we kind of had like one final blowout before that and i thought i'd spent a lot of money on him but honestly he has spent so much money and he doesn't even have that much of a well-paid job he just kind of found a way to save up his money to be able to buy me all of this and he bought quite a lot of it throughout the year instead of buying it all in one go like a lot of this was bought in like april and stuff so honestly i just can't believe how much he bought me and it was my birthday like last month and he bought me loads for my birthday as well and i, I don't know how he does it but yeah, preparing yourself to be shocked by how much he bought me. So the first couple of things he got me was this necklace, which is just a Tiffany & Co necklace, and it has like the little key on it. But then on the back, we've actually got his initials engraved on the back. And this was like my idea because I thought like it would be so cute. And I used to have the Tiffany necklace with the two small hearts, but I actually lost it, which is not very good. But um, yeah, so he bought me a new one with his engravings on the back and this has like so much sentiment to that. So my boyfriend also got me this ring from Tiffany and it's just like the Tiffany tea bar ring and I've wanted this ring for so long and I'd completely forgot I'd mentioned it but he bought it quite a long time ago when I had seen it on social media and stuff so I love this, it's gonna be with me all the time and yeah I'm very happy I got that. Um, another piece of jewellery that my boyfriend got me was from Louis Vuitton again we have a problem and it's just like a cute little initial necklace it's a gold necklace so i probably keep this like for special occasions because most of my jewelry is silver i have a few little gold things that i get out on big occasions so i'll probably keep this like for that but it's just a little initial necklace and it has an m on it and i just thought it was so cute and like dainty now he actually picked this out for me like i've never seen these myself and i absolutely love it so he did really well with that one so my boyfriend sort of knows like my obsession with makeup and always tries to get me a little something that I can add to my collection. So this year he got me the Too Faced set. So the first one is the Pretty Little Planner which is like a 2018 set and it basically comes with like a little 2018 diary and some stickers and then like a little eyeshadow palette and a mini Better Than Sex mascara. This would be really handy for like travelling and stuff because it's just like a super small little set and you can keep it all like in a little zip diary kind of case so that was a really cute idea and then he also just got me the other Too Faced best year ever 2018 collection and this is like a little makeup bag which zips around like a diary size as well and this also comes with a better than sex mascara and then it comes with three mini face palettes so again this would be really good for traveling because it comes with six eyeshadows on each one and a blush or a bronzer on each one or one highlight so yeah that comes with all of that which is a really really good gift idea so my boyfriend also got me this perfume which i had seen online before and i thought it was just so amazing it's basically like i think it's like a christmas edition of Giorgio armani c and it's just like a glittery perfume edition now i would probably wear this more on like nights out and stuff because you spray it on you and it literally just covers you like in glitter but i just thought this was so cute and it's like just would look so nice like with tan skin sprayed sort of like on your chest for a night out and on this perfume is like my favorite perfume ever so he did really really well with that one <laughs> now i'm not gonna lie there was quite a lot to go through so we could be here a long time but he also got me a watch now he got me a michael kors watch and we went to new york earlier in the year and i had seen this and said oh that's a nice watch and he somehow managed to get it without me even realizing but it's basically like a watch with a pink handle and then the watch itself has like a diamante face and it's like rose gold handles and hardware so i just thought that was really cute and again i have no idea how we managed to sneak that in without me noticing because when we went to new york basically macy's had like a massive 40 percent off discount sale so this was reduced by quite a lot so i'm glad he managed to get it when it was that cheap like i'm surprised he, i didn't realize but who knows my boyfriend always likes to try and buy me some clothes because i always say that he has no idea like what my style is like so he always tries to like 
one at me and buy me things he knows I like that is just because I've mentioned it in the past. So the first thing he got me was this grey Calvin Klein jumper. Now I've wanted one of these for quite a long time but I think these are about £90 and I've never been able to justify buying one so he got me one for Christmas and he got me it like in a bigger size so it's going to be nice and oversized and cosy for the winter. And then he also got me an Adidas jumper which I will put a picture of here because I've worn it already because I love it so much. It's just like a um, nude black and white adidas jumper which I love and then he also got me some Nike joggers now I have these in grey and I live in them so he just got me the pink version they're just like um thick joggers and they come with like an elasticated waistband so yes he did very well with those clothes and then this is where things start getting ridiculous and when I say ridiculous I mean ridiculous so <laughs> the first things he got me was Balenciagas. Now I had always said that I wanted white ones and he actually told me a few weeks before Christmas that he'd bought me them but he bought me black ones and I was like oh like I'm amazed that you got me them like I'm so so grateful you got me them but I don't want you to spend that much money on something that I probably won't really wear because I like had my heart set on the white ones and I didn't want him to waste money on something and me never wear it. So basically he bought me the black ones, just like the race runners and they have like a little bit of black paint on the side and then the toes are just like matte and the race runners come with this like elastic band around the toe and don't get me wrong like I love them and I'm so grateful that he got me them but I didn't want him to waste money. I, I didn't want him to waste that much money on something that I wasn't going to get that much wear out of. So basically I told him that and he told me that he'd sent them back. But he has no idea how the post works. So he actually ordered me the white ones as well. So now I have two pairs of Balenciaga. So these are just the white race runners. And they have like the black band across them which I love. And actually we're like five days post Christmas. And I've actually worn the black ones more. Just because I live in black. So... Maybe he's actually done well getting me the black ones, but I do feel really bad that I actually mentioned not wanting them now, but he knows what I mean. Like, I just don't want him to spend that much money on something and it not be right, if you know what I mean. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I don't know. And the last thing that he bought me has to be the best present of them all because this is something that I've been wanting the whole year. Like, I've literally had this saved on my safari for the whole year I've been trying to save up to buy myself it and I just can't bring myself to spend that much money in one go so he kind of listened to me go on and on about this and he bought me it and I have no idea how he managed to afford this because he'd spent so much money already like you have just seen how much money he spent and this just like knocks all of that out of the park like I can't believe it so basically he has bought me a Louis Vuitton palm springs backpack this literally makes me want to cry like as soon as i opened it i just bawled my eyes out i was like what is wrong with you i could have killed him but i just wanted to cry and hug him at the same time because he knows how much i wanted this bag I think, like last week he bought this like very last minute he was just like do you know what i'm just gonna get it because as we said it's our last christmas buying presents he wanted to really amaze me and he's gonna pay for this for a long time but yeah he Honestly, I don't know how I did it, but this bag is going to live with me forever. I'm just going to cuddle it forever. I want to use it for everything. I'm just, honestly, so in love with it. Like, it... Oh. Yeah, that was everything that I got for Christmas. Again, I'm in no means bragging. Like, I feel like I have to say this so many times. But I think a lot of you kind of get these kind of videos now. It's just to share with you what I got because I love watching these videos. So if you liked this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video next year. Bye!